A German man wants to set a new world record for the longest continuous road trip taken in an electric vehicle here in the United States. His trip is taking him across the country as he stops at all the Volkswagen dealerships. 13 News reporter Larissa Casillas caught up with him today in South Charleston. Larissa. Rainer Zietlow is traveling 35,000 miles in 100 days. He did the same cross-country tour in Germany, proving that electric vehicles can be driven for long distances. Now he says he wants to prove that here in the United States. Across the street from new Chevrolet SUVs for sale is the Joe Holland Volkswagen lot with one of Volkswagen's new all-electric SUVs, the ID4. The dealership currently only has one available as a demo model. I've done this for 13 years, and this is actually the first year that I'm getting a lot of hybrid questions, electric questions. Sales professional Joshua Miller says electric vehicles are the way of the future, whether you like it or not. Back home in Logan, more the culture. Um, if you don't have a truck, then you don't really have a vehicle mindset. But one German man is out to prove otherwise. Actually, I might look relaxed, but I'm quite under pressure because we have to visit about 10 to 12 dealers a day and we have to stick on a tight schedule. Otherwise, this project would take two years. Rainer Zieglow is traveling across the United States and visiting 622 Volkswagen dealerships along the way. He says long distance traveling in an EV can be done. You have to find them, you have to locate them before you start your journey. This is the biggest difference in driving to a combustion engine. Combustion engine, you just sit in and then the gas station is coming. Here you have to calculate with your app, with your mobile phone, where is the next station. Derek Collins is accompanying him on the trip. Uh, we've been through about, I'm going to say 13 states. So, and I mean, I've seen so many cities. And he says there's another difference about the ID4, aside from it not burning any fossil fuels. It handles really well. Uh, it's very, very comfortable. Uh, you know, you don't have to deal with the droning sound of a, a gasoline vehicle. And we wish them luck as they continue their cross-country trip. They are now headed out west and plan to finish their trip in October. At the Digital Desk, Larissa Casillas, 13 News, working for you.